New technology enables amputees to control robot arms by using their brain impulses with brain-computer interface. Recently, a team of researchers at the University of Minnesota built a robotic hand that can be controlled by a user's thoughts via brain-computer interface. Most current-generation robotic body parts are equipped with sensors that recognize tiny movements in the remaining shoulder, chest, leg, or hand muscles. And if the user needs to move these prosthetic parts, they need to first trigger some muscular or bodily movement. Learning and adjusting to such artificial body parts requires training, time, and patience, and a physically weak individual may find it difficult to use them. This new technology from researchers at the University of Minnesota instead interprets the nerve signals directly in order to know the patient's intention. If the patient wants to move a finger, all they have to do is think about moving that finger and it'll move. The researchers highlight that mind-controllable body parts are ready to use right after installation. They don't require much training, and this saves users from additional stress and frustration of adapting to an artificial body part. However, there are even more exciting advantages of such high-end prosthetics waiting to be unlocked. There are many possibilities of mind-controllable devices. Brain-controlled robotic parts will not only help people with an amputation, but can also assist patients with paralysis and other kinds of neural and body coordination-related disorders. For instance, a brain-computer interface, or BCI, which is an AI-driven technology that uses different types of sensors to decode brain signals, would allow patients with paralysis to control their own robotic wheelchairs. Brain-computer interfaces have also enabled patients to work on computers and tablets using their thoughts. The neuroprosthetic hand developed by these researchers, for which a paper was published in the Journal of Neural Engineering, is controlled using a brain chip that employs advanced brain-computer interface. The neural chip comes equipped with an AI-powered neural decoder that employs machine learning to convert neural signals into machine-friendly mathematical data. The code can guide the movement of the robotic arm, or potentially anything controllable by a computer or the internet, at the user's will. The researchers also suggest that the users might be able to sync their brain chips with their phones and other gadgets. This would allow them to use their robotic hands to control every smart piece of technology around them. Concerning privacy linked to these mind-controllable robots, many previously published research papers concerning brain-computer interfaces and brain chips argue that at some level, these advanced technologies that allow humans to control machines with their minds could pose a threat to users' privacy. For instance, a 2017 article in Nature from researchers at the University of Columbia argues that the integration of artificial intelligence and brain-computer interfaces could be used to manipulate human thinking and violate people's privacy, so there's a need to set up ethical rules and strong safeguards to prevent such undesirable outcomes. Breakthrough 3D printing technique builds robots in one step. A team of engineers at UCLA has developed a new 3D printing technique and design strategy that enables robots to be built in one single step. This new technique involves the 3D printing process for engineered active materials with multiple functions, also known as metamaterials. It enables the simultaneous manufacturing of the entire mechanical and electronic systems required for operating a robot. After the metabot has been 3D printed, it can carry out movement, propulsion, sensing, and decision making. The printed materials are made up of an internal network of sensory, moving, and structural elements that move by themselves after being programmed. Because this internal network is brought together in one place, all that's left to do is produce a single external component, the small battery, to power the robot. The engineers envision that this design and printing methodology of smart robotic materials will help realize a class of autonomous materials that could replace the current complex assembly process for making a robot. The robot could have complex motions, multiple modes of sensing and programmable decision-making abilities, all tightly integrated like a biological system with nerves, bones, and tendons, working in tandem to execute controlled motions. The team integrated an onboard battery and controller to make fully autonomous 3D printed robots. Each one of the robots is the size of a fingernail, and the engineers believe that this method could lead to new designs for biomedical robots. One such biomedical robot could be a swimming bot that navigates autonomously near blood vessels to deliver drugs at target sites in the body. Another application of the 3D printed bots is to send them into hazardous environments, such as a collapsed building, where a swarm of them can access tight spaces. These metabots could then assess threat levels and assist in rescue efforts. This is a major breakthrough in the field of robotics since most of the current robots require a series of complex manufacturing steps, which results in heavier, bulkier, and weaker robots. To develop the new method, the team relied on a class of intricate lattice materials that change the shape and direction in response to an electrical field. They can also create an electrical charge as a result of physical forces. The robotic materials developed by the team are only the size of a penny and consist of structural elements that help them bend, twist, expand, contract, or rotate at high speeds. On top of all of this, the team released a methodology that can be used to design the robotic materials, enabling users to create their own models. 
This allows actuating elements to be arranged precisely throughout the robot for fast, complex, and extended movements on various types of terrain. With the two-way piezoelectric effect, the robotic materials can also self-sense their contortions, detect obstacles via echoes and ultrasound emissions, as well as respond to external stimuli through a feedback control loop that determines how the robots move, how fast they move, and toward which target they move. The team used the method to build three different metabots demonstrating capabilities including navigating around S-shaped corners and randomly placed obstacles, escaping in response to contact impact, escaping in response to a contact impact, and walking over rough terrain while making small jumps. This new 3D printing technique will play a major role in the field of robotics, helping make the construction of such robots far more efficient. Brainwaves control robot dog in military application. A biosensor at the back of the user's head is able to detect brainwaves from the visual cortex. Several white squares corresponding to waypoints will flicker in the user's augmented reality lens at varying frequencies. When the user concentrates on a particular flicker, the biosensor detects corresponding brainwaves and signals an amplification circuit. An artificial intelligence decoder then translates the signal into a command, which the robot dog then follows. This technology is using a commercial HoloLens developed by the University of Technology in Sydney, where researchers were able to command a ghost robotics quadruped robot. The whole process is said to be easy to master and is very intuitive, only taking a couple sessions to execute. During the demonstration with the ghost robot, the user was able to command the robot to visit six predetermined locations based on one of six flickers. It's said that the user doesn't have to think of anything specific to operate the robot, but they do need to focus on the flicker using their visual concentration. The purpose of the demonstration was to get soldiers thinking about how the Army might integrate this technology into tactical environments. Researchers at UTS and Army's Robotic and Autonomous Implementation and Coordination Office worked together since December of 2020 to explore brain-computer interfaces in their tactical applications. They also figured out how to minimize noise from the body and environment to get a clearer signal from the operator's brain. Another advancement was increasing the number of commands the decoder can deliver in a fixed period. They currently have nine different kinds of commands, and the operator can select one at a time. The researchers also developed a replacement for older biosensors used to detect brain waves, thus overcoming issues of corrosion, durability, and skin contact resistance through cutting-edge graphene material. By combining the best of graphene, which is very biocompatible and very conductive, with the best of silicon technology, they're able to make their biosensors very resilient and robust. On top of this, the Ghost robot also employs water jet propulsion in order to move 3 knots, or 3.4 miles per hour, in the water to make this quadruped robot completely amphibious, if the situation requires. A robotic game of cat and mouse shows how neuromorphic chips inspired by the human brain could allow small robots to make decisions without using too much power. The Tianji Cat robot developed by researchers at Tsinghua University in China uses a brain-inspired computing chip called the Tianji CX. The so-called neuromorphic chip can run multiple artificial intelligence techniques simultaneously in an energy-efficient manner. It is one example of experiments with neuromorphic systems that could allow small robots to make decisions using limited computational resources and power. The researchers challenged the Tianji Cat robot to chase another robot that was set to move randomly in a room filled with obstacles. This required Tianji Cat to track the mouse robot by using both visual recognition and sound detection, and to figure out the best path to chase down its pretend prey without colliding with any of the obstacles. The team says that the Tianji CX chip reduced the amount of power required for the robot cat to make decisions during the chase by about 50% as compared with an NVIDIA chip designed for AI computing. Performing a cat and mouse chase would be a step up in difficulty for most commercialized robots, which generally follow very predictable routines in warehouses and factories. 